The Ford Performance DNA is what makes the vehicle immediately recognizable. It's the block Ford grille, the bulging fenders, the wide track, the Fox suspension, and the big tires. A Ford Performance vehicle is designed for extreme performance. We have a unique steering wheel with a center stripe so you know where your wheels are. The seats include increased bolstering, keeps you right in front of the steering wheel. The drive mode buttons uh, are all right there on the steering wheel, unique for Raptor. As we started to create a range of Raptors, we applied the same key characteristics, the Ford Performance DNA for off-road, to the Ranger Raptor as we had it on F-150 Raptor. You got in the Ranger Raptor the best diesel engine we have in our lineup. A high-power, bi-turbo diesel engine. We pick the same transmission you have in an F-150 Raptor. A 10-speed automatic transmission. The first F-150 Raptor was actually developed from three runners. We've taken that DNA and then we have applied that DNA to the Ranger Raptor in the Fink Desert. Right now we're out here in the original testing area for the F-150 Raptor in the US. If it can pass these obstacles, we know that it can withstand some of the toughest areas of the world. The Raptor is the most production-ready, off-road, high-speed vehicle in the world. It's absolutely going to blow people's minds. Testing the Ford Ranger Raptor happens here, where we simulate years of engine abuse. The bi-turbo diesel engine is raised to 388 degrees, then dropped to minus 34. We repeated this over a thousand times to stress test the cutting edge bi-turbo. Built from Inconel, a specialized nickel alloy used in aerospace travel, it thrives under pressure. Next, the ultimate endurance test, full throttle for 18 days straight. Finally, it's unleashed on sand, mud, rock and gravel on climbs as steep as 45 degrees. This is where dynamic stability control, all-terrain tires and a terrain management system featuring the exclusive Baja mode come together to deliver optimal traction. While the optimized 10-speed automatic transmission is designed to ensure peak torque performance from the bi-turbo diesel engine, making all 500 newton meters available from as low as 1750 RPM. That's how the Ford Ranger Raptor handles steep climbs and extreme terrain, like no other off-road production vehicle. Testing the Ford Ranger Raptor's suspension starts here. The repeated impact caused by these motocross-inspired whoops could not be handled by standard suspension. But the Ford Ranger Raptor takes it in its stride, thanks to its bespoke aluminium control arms and 2.5-inch Fox shocks. This sophisticated suspension system features position-sensitive damping, providing low damping in the middle of the suspension travel for a smooth ride and stiff damping at the end of travel to help avoid bottoming and topping out. The next test is a heavy landing. The Ford Ranger Raptor has up to 32% more travel over standard Ranger suspension, absorbing the impact without transferring excessive force to the chassis. The small force that makes it into the chassis meets a specialized frame with stiffened side rails made from high strength, low alloy steel. We take the approach with this kind of vehicle that whatever we do from a design perspective, it should be about performance, it should be about functionality. So there's nothing that we've designed on this vehicle that doesn't have some purpose. Ranger on steroids, Ranger turned up past 11. The whole purpose of the Raptor is capability. Right? It's to perform off-road, and so the things that we've done are all about enhancing that ability. So you get the increased protection underneath with the bash plates, the separator bumper, which is higher for better ramp departure for breakover angles. And the chassis guys want a wider track to help with stability and off-road ability. And that allowed us to put the wider fenders and the bigger arches and the larger off-road tires. The big thing about the Raptor is it's inspired by Baja vehicles, by the desert races. That's why everything's lifted up, everything's out of the way. It's a bit like we sent it to the gym and the thing got absolutely ripped. It's driven by functionality. There's so much in the underpinnings and in the chassis and in the sheet metal that it's really something that can only be authentic. Somebody asked me, was there ever a time when you were able to just deliver a sketch? I have to say that the Raptor is the one because it's a vehicle that you walk past and you think, oh my God, that's so cool. Are we really going to put that on the road? For those people who know a bit about the F-150 Raptor, 
you'll see some of that same DNA translated. Key interaction points like the instruments, steering wheel, the shifter, paddle shifters, pedals, even the startup sequence is unique. The first thing that you're gonna notice when you open the door is the dramatic sculpture in the seats. The seat is the thing that's going to hold you in position when you're doing that really extreme driving that this vehicle offers opportunity to do. The seat itself is, is an amazing thing in the way that we use a Miko suede, which is typically used on performance vehicles. The steering wheel on the Ranger Raptor is differentiated in a couple of ways. Probably the most obvious one is the centre marker at the top of the wheel, which helps the driver understand where straight ahead is. Another feature on the steering wheel are the cast magnesium paddle shifters that allow you to hold onto the wheel tightly and shift it at the same time without losing any level of control. The brute of Raptor is really on the exterior. It's imposing, it's, it's menacing, but on the interior there's a level of refinement. The blue stitching itself was something we really wanted to bring in that was distinctly Ford Performance. So when I think about design for purpose and the marriage of form and function, the interior of the vehicle is where that really comes together. for watching this video please subscribe for more videos if you like this video click the like buttons and give your comments